Breaking Dawn, the first of a two part uh, two part series. Also a fan of a dandy pint of blood is one Lindsay McDonald, right, Lindsay? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to stay with my antioxidants. Thanks, Sam. And actually, you should load up in on antioxidants. We've all heard this time and time again, and chances are we may already be doing it, but many people still don't know exactly what antioxidants do, what they protect us from, and how to get more of them. But Dr. William A. Latore of Latore Wellness Center is answering these questions and showing us a really neat scanner that can tell us what our antioxidant level actually is. Good to have you here. It's nice to be here. Thank you. All right, let's first talk about what antioxidants actually do. Okay. Antioxidants stop the chain reaction that causes disease in cells, tissues, and organs in the human body. Okay. Okay. As well as every other living tissue. Okay, so they prote protect us from disease, essentially. Right. Free radicals are are a chain react, chemical chain reaction that cause disease. Antioxidants stops that chain reaction and keeps us healthy. Okay. Um, it's the only protective mecha mechanism that we have to prevent cancer, heart disease, uh, Alzheimer's. All of the aging related diseases are caused from free radical damage. Antioxidants stop that. And we get about 10 billion free radicals in our body every day. 10 billion free 10 radicals. Billion. So then what do our antioxidant levels need to be to fight those free radicals? Good question. High, 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 high. Now I know you're pretty sports minded. <laughs> and I try to be, I don't know. Okay, yeah. and I know you probably because you are athletic, you probably eat really, really good. And sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like the rest of the world. Um, and so we need, because we get 10 billion free radicals a day, we need an army of antioxidants to fight that. Listen to this. What happens when you cut an apple in half and you lie the white tissue straight up? It, it goes brown after a little bit. Why does that happen? Uh, because it's exposed to oxygen. Oxygen causes oxidative stress and it causes free radicals, which then, which then starts to eat away at the tissue of the apple, okay. turns it brown. That's causing the apple to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. What do we do to stop that? You put a little lime on it. Squeeze a little lemon on lemon it. Lemon on it. Why? Uh, because it stops the browning. It's like a, it's <laughs> like an acid that stops it. No, everybody thinks it's the acid, but it's actually the vitamin C, vitamin C in the lemon, which is filled with antioxidants. So the antioxidants stops the damaging chain effect of free radical damage, causing tissues to deteriorate. Okay. So, it's the antioxidant now. Well, let's wait. Let's get to as you tell me this. Let's get to the scan. Okay, good. I want to try this in the time that we have remaining because okay, I know, and I know it I'm takes. I'm going to take this little cap off. Okay. And you'll see there's a little blue laser light that's coming out of there. Gotcha. And I'm just going to put, put my your hand, hand here. right up against that. And now, that. what does this machine actually do? Okay, that machine is sending a blue laser into your body. And when most people think of lasers, they think of burning and cutting for laser surgery and stuff. This, you can't feel anything, can you? No, nothing. You don't feel it at all. No. It feels great. Right. And it's just going to test my my antioxidant levels? That laser is going into your hand and through a very scientific process known as Raman photospectroscopy. I'm not going to get into that because it's okay. too scientific. But that blue laser is going into your hand and it's going to give us a reading of what your antioxidant level is in your whole body by by measuring one of the antioxidants. Now I know this takes even you know only about 90 seconds or so, but we're not going to have enough time to get my reading right now. Oh, your reading will be done in 90 seconds. Okay, well, but let me ask you this: If my levels are low, do I just eat a lot more vegetables? You eat a lot more of the foods that have antioxidants in them, but okay. you're not going to be able to eat as much food as you absolutely need. So take need. a lot of vitamins. So you take a specific supplement okay. to supplement your diet that's filled with all of the vitamins, minerals, and the antioxidants to raise the level to protect you from having cancer. Look, Dr. Oz even says that the only way to protect cancer, which is now even now over uh, number one as, uh, from heart disease, hmm. is to have a high level of antioxidants. All right, well, Dr. Latore, thank you so much for being here. I don't want you guys to know what my level is, so I'm going to do this in the break. But still to come, Larry heads south of the border for some good eat, so please stay tuned.